results of the Ryan Veter Exposition for Good Interactive Fiction are coming up after this brief message. I'd like to begin by expressing the extent to which I'm sorry I have to rank these games at all. I really appreciate the effort and the care that all the entrants put into their entries, even those entrants who did not put in enough effort to actually finish their entries. I'd also like to say that these results are far from the final word on any of the entries. All of these games have merits, most of them have flaws, and you and I won't fully appreciate any of them until we've both had a chance to play these games, subject to the author's decisions to release their work publicly or not. I think that's all I wanted to say. And now, the results of the Ryan Vida Exposition for Good Interactive Fiction. <laughs> In 14th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled You Didn't Die in That House. I want to be clear, just because this game is in last place doesn't mean it's bad. But I didn't like it at all. In 13th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Extraordinary Adventure. This is a game for two players, a novel concept, and a bold move in an exposition where the explicit aim is to please exactly one person. In 12th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled A Brief Introduction to This Game. It's an unfinished game, but it's pleasantly goofy. In 11th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Agent to the Stars. Uh, this one isn't finished either. I know the person who wrote it is probably very busy, but whoever you are, Please finish this game. In 10th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Reverie. Very well put together. If you're a fan of the works of Emily Dickinson, then you will enjoy this game a lot more than I did. In 9th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Deer Creek Diner. This is another unfinished game, but one that strongly appealed to my interests and caused me to giggle several times. In 8th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Impetum Maleficus. In 7th place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Dude, Where's My Scapula? These are both tightly scoped and highly polished games that represent a format we really don't see enough of. If you give them a shot, you'll see what I mean. In 6th place is a game by Andrew. I mean, by an anonymous entrant titled Cheesed Off. There's not a lot to it, but I laughed a lot. In fifth place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Three Card Trick, another small, elegant game that's also very, very, very clever. In fourth place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Dracula Land. Very impressive. There's a lot to be said about this game, but we don't have time. In third place is a game by an anonymous entrant titled The Veter. More than the many other games in this competition, I mean, exposition that I've already praised for their elegance. This one very effectively does something very specific in a very small space, but not more so than the second place entry, a game by an anonymous entrant titled Barroom Brawl. It is my belief that this game is perfect. In first place, far and away my favorite entry, is a game by an anonymous entrant titled Foo Foo. Foo Foo is a terrible title. 